what's up, y'all? Slater Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. And someone previously in the comment section put, what's the benefits of taking the crib and controlling the temperature? And Rikers Island, C74. So I'm going to give my opinion on what's the benefits from what I've seen and from being connected and being one of the people that control the temperature, right? So look. <sighs> on the on the on the most worst end of the spectrum, controlling the crib, controlling the temperature, uh, taking the crib makes you the number one house nigga, the number one and number two house nigga of the crib. You know what I'm saying? Um, and to that aspect, I say that because most times the people who run the crib, they are totally in cahoots with police. Totally in cahoots with police. They take hits out. On behalf of police, um, they running around getting information on the opposition or other people for police. If it's a threat in the house, and and that threat, and that threat might have a weapon made out of metal from a radiator or something like that, or he might have drugs, and and they not gangster enough to get it from him himself, they will go tell police. And then police have a random search. And then that person to get knocked. Then that person to catch a new charge or go straight to the box. You know what I'm saying? Um, quite often times there was a lot of that going on. You feel me? There was a whole lot of that going on. But um other things like that is when the when the frosted flakes and the muffins is going on, maybe what is it? Maybe like twice, maybe like twice a week. Twice a week. You got first dibs on that. You and whoever you running the crib with got first dibs on that. And if you was real, real, real gangster and you had it by yourself, still, you get first dibs on that. First dibs on that. So, boom, they come. They come. Usually, you the person in the pantry sorting out the dishes. So, if a CO is there, that's not with the program. You passing you passing um the, the, the cereals and the muffins under people sell doors and you telling them hey listen when i come back slide that back under nine times out of ten they're gonna do that you know what i'm saying you get first dibs now you get in trouble because it's obvious you're extorting people if you just take everybody frosted flakes so you take all the frosted flakes from all the day room dummies and you might take five six for yourself the other person who you who you run the crib with might take five six for himself and then everyone else that's not pussy might get two or three for themselves. You know what I'm saying? And and that's how that's going to go. Uh, like I said, if it's drugs, you get first dibs. First dibs. And if they don't give it up, you beat them up. And then you take it. You go in they cell. You find they stash spot. You take it. You go in they bucket. You take it. When it comes to commissary, you get to... Have first dibs on commissary. You the first one. You and your man who got half the crib with. They sticking their um commissary list up under people doors. You know what I'm saying? Not doors. Under, under up underneath people cells. And like yo, listen. Give me, give me two sloppy joes, twenty soups, um, two two liter sprite sodas, ten honey buns, you know, five stamps. Two packs of clams, two beef stews, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Stuff like that. And then the rest of the dudes who don't necessarily run the house, they get dibs on whatever else is left. But the rule is to never take absolutely everything from a day room dummy because then they will tell. Then they will tell, you know what I'm saying? But um, that's if you want to be the most oppressive of the people who run the crib. Now, for instance... Like, I, cause most of this applies to a cell house. But for instance, when I was in the mods, and I got to the mods, and T. Roy was there, and then Bow Wow came, and then L. Boogie came, and Drewski, and Lenny G's was there, and Floyd, and and P. and O. Y. G. Dizzy. Basically, Cortland and Harlem controlled the temperature. Cortland and Harlem controlled the temperature. You know what I'm saying? There was a couple dudes that wasn't from Harlem and Cortland that was doing their thing too, but 
basically called in the Harlem control the temperature and we wasn't really like violating them like that. We kind of was like, we kind of was like good to the day room niggas, for real, for real. Like if they didn't have, we would set them out. Oh, you can't eat. Like when we had it, it's 50 dudes. It's 50 dudes and it's about 10 dudes that's in control of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like T-Roy was running the phones. You know what I mean? The rest of us was doing whatever we wanted. It wasn't no, it wasn't no one or two people was running everything. Cause like I said, this was the Mars. This is 50 beds, 50 beds in one house. So it was like 10 of us who ran everything. And then there's 40 other dudes. Us knowing the truth, which is that if 40 other dudes decide to have a revolution, they could spank us and get us out of there. Like, like, but at the same time, they would have to be pushed. They would have to be pushed and violated to a point where they start conspiring like that. So for real, for real, we was cool with them. t was running the phones. He was letting everybody get on the phone. Nobody was really extorting people for phone calls like that. It was simply a matter of, if I ask, just give me a phone call. If I ask, just give me a phone call. You know what I'm saying? Do like me. I ain't have to violate. So the people, who, I ain't have to violate because my mother was answering all collect calls on top of the fact that my 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 money in my account was always at maximum. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because you know my mother, my mother loved me. You know what I'm saying? My my chicks, they left. They left, but my mother loved me. She was looking out. You know what I'm saying? So. Anytime I needed to call anybody, I could simply go to anybody who was broke and be like, yo, let me get that collect call, that 15 minute joint. You get a 15 minute collect call, I'd be on the phone for an hour or two every single day. Talking to a whole bunch of chicks that don't care about me, but they still talking to me on the phone, doing all that. But like I said, we had it. If we seen if we seen somebody was less fortunate, whether he was a day room dummy or not. We was giving them a tap out, letting them eat, you know what I'm saying? Pull up to the table, letting them eat. Um, we wasn't just walking around, slapping people up, doing all the extra bully stuff. That's why the day room dummies, they respected us. They had love for us. And if somebody came from a new, a new crib and violated any one of us and we jumped them, they was jumping in, you know what I'm saying? Because we was good to them. We was good to them, you feel me? So... We was kind of like ruling it like that, but like that's a rare situation where it's going to be like that, where it's five, ten people doing their thing, controlling 40 other people, and them five, ten people is not like um trying to fight and go against each other for just two spots, two to five spots, and that's because a lot of, oh yeah, King Goonie was there too, my man Theo from Queens was there too, there too, you know what I'm saying, controlling the temperature. And but a lot of the times, like all the Harlem dudes, they knew each other from the town. And then me, me, it's me and three, four other dudes from Colton. You know what I'm saying? So, so really, what is it gonna be? If one person from Colton challenge one person from Harlem, that's gonna end up being ten people fighting each other anyway. You know what I'm saying? And we all naturally got along. You feel me? So that's how it is. What other benefits? What other benefits? I mean, on rare, 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 very rare situations. Somebody, somebody who run in the crib will get a chance to um, do something nasty with a female officer. On rare, rare, rare instances, you know what I'm saying? I heard of that happen to maybe once or twice. Never seen it happen. Any action I seen with female officers was <laughs> Bell from the Mars who's who was knocking them down, knocking them down. You feel me? Um, uh, another funny thing about dudes that was running the temperature. That was controlling the temperature. Dudes was running the house. And they got access to other people. And they doing the SPA thing. I got a video where I spoke about. I caught a dude that ran the crib. You know what I'm saying? Like they do like funny stuff. Like like if a, like if a, a trans person was in the house. They do little funny stuff. Like go get their meat sucked on the low. You know what I'm like? It was a lot of funny stuff. It was a lot of funny stuff. Like, like, like in a way. Most of the dudes who controlled the temperature when I was there was really like on some like, 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 like the biggest, um, the biggest house niggas, <laughs> biggest house niggas. And they on the download doing all this weird stuff, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe though. Peace.